Hey guys, it's Nadine. So, I am here with another tutorial. Actually, it's I don't know if you want to call it a tutorial or what. Um, this is actually a share and this video was a video request by Roxy. I will put Roxy's information in the description box below. Um, I should make like little hand puppets, you know, like little finger people. <laughs> Because as you can tell, I'm very expressive with my hands. And for all of you out there who want to make YouTube videos but don't want to show your face um, and who are not ridiculous like myself, <laughs> just show your face on here, um, use your hands. I mean, yeah, like have a nice little background and then use your hands. Um, doesn't really matter what you look like or what as long as you're getting your point across is my theory. Anyway, as I oftentimes digress. <laughs> um, so the question was this. Um, it was, how do I print on my selfie? to get the three by four um, ratio for your project life. Okay, for me, it's very simple because why? I like to uh, kiss, keep keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> That's what I tell myself, okay. Well, keep it simple, sweetheart. Um, I use my selfie and it's a selfie CP900, which I am freaking in love with, okay. I have the um, Epson Picture Mate, I don't, I've never really warmed up to it. Um, I'm actually thinking about giving it away or something. I have to see if my daughter wants it first. If she doesn't want it, I will probably give it away to someone. Um, I have an idea who I want to give it away to, but I need to ask her whether or not she wants it. Um, but I just love my selfie like nobody's business, okay? So what I'm going to show you guys today is how I use my selfie and print my pictures out um, with the selfie, there is a disc that comes with it that you can uh, put into your computer or your, your whatever, your desktop PC or laptop, um, and you can go ahead and print wirelessly uh, from there as well. But most of the time, most of my pictures are on my iPhone, and it's just easier for me to just print straight from my iPhone. Um, so let me show you guys what I have, and this is partly a video uh, tutorial or partly a tutorial and partly what's on my iPhone. So let's go to, let's get started. Okay, so what I use is I use my iPhone apps and I have a lot of crap on my iPhone right now. Okay, oh, I guess I should clean the screen now. Yeah, let me clean the screen real quickly. And I would show my face, but hello, I just actually, I'm on vacation. Well, the start of my vacation anyway, we don't technically go on vacation until next week. <clears throat> but I'm not working from today. And um, I'm actually still in my freaking bathrobe my hair is up and I'm actually wearing my purple crown from DC um from D cut right um Desiree cut right <laughs> anyhow um let me show you guys really quickly what I look like so that you guys can crack up laughing at me because I don't really care oh so sorry wrong one watch this do you see me <laughs> look at me see I'm rocking my thing. I told you guys, I'm not even, I have no shame in my game. See that? I'm rocking my crown. No joke. Because I love the crown she gave me. And this is a birthday crown. Mm -hmm. In case you wanted to know. <laughs> Anyhow, enough of that nonsense. Okay. So what I do is I take my pictures with my iPhone. You know, whatever. No, no big deal. Then I go over here and I have various um, folders on my iPhone. Sam, shut your little trap. Um, No, shh. Shh. Ooh, choke her little neck. Okay, so I have various little folders on my iPhone, and it happens to be under photography. Um, so as you can see, these are the apps that I use: A Plus Signature to watermark your. Sam, shut up, man! Dang. Um, A Plus Signatures to watermark your pictures, and I will show you guys how to do that in an upcoming video. Insta Frame, Pic Frame. Um, Fonto, I'll show you guys how to do that too. Photo collage, I'll show you guys all these freaking things at some point in time. Um, <laughs> uh, photo date, which is excellent. If you ever wanted to know what the date on some of your um, pictures are, you just click your camera roll and it'll show you. Let me show you my tutu, for instance. Okay, so these are like older pictures, okay? And um, here is my tutu. I picked up at the airport like this is um, back in 2011, but isn't it cute? So what it does is it actually shows you guys um, the date, the year, and the time that pictures are. So when making reference for Project Life, if you're like, when the hell did I take that picture? Or if you're looking for pictures within a certain week range, this is ideal for that. Um, 
so yeah okay so that's one thingy um let me go back here another thing okay so what i do is now when you have a selfie you gotta download the canon i app to in order to be able to print wirelessly okay but i go here to pick frame pick frame happens to be one of my favorite um uh, frame apps okay so for instance I have pictures that I wanted to print so what I would do is I would go over here okay and then you can say okay well um, for a 3 by 4 layout if I just wanted to have like I want a picture a photo to be exactly like 3 by 4 in size meaning and let me give you an example right here so the height is 4 and the um, width is 3 Three. Actually, it's two and what? Two and seven eighths. I want to say, um, because it's a little bit shorter in order for it to fit in the pocket, which is perfection. Okay. So anyway, what I do is I go on here, and I'm like, okay, here is pick frame. Let me open it up, and then you just add the pictures in here. Okay. Um. So let me just go to my camera roll really quickly, and mind you. Um, let me just show you guys some stuff. So let me just take pictures, this one and that one. And it asks you to pick it out, you know, like pick which ones, two pictures, and then it'll put it in here. And then you can just align it to whatever. This is a, a rack that Terry Berry sent me. And then this is the um, Seagram stuff that um, the, uh, Desiree Cutright sent me. I don't know why I say her own name. Des cut me. <laughs> Des sent me. Um, and this is just an example. So I put them on here, okay? And then um, I put click share and then I want to save it to my and you can do a bunch of things you can save it you can copy it you can add it to Twitter Tumblr Flickr Facebook you can email it you can put it on Instagram whatever so I wanted to save it to my um, camera roll which I'm going to do now and then what I do next is um I get out of this one and then I go to my can my Canon app and it's going to let me make sure that my printer is on and stitchy. Move out of the way man. Good grief. Oh, it's an obstacle course in my stick and craft room because my dog and everything is in here with me. Okay, so I'm turning on my selfie right now as I climb over Mr. Stitch. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and it's going to start to do its little thing where it tries to find your selfie. Then I'm going to come here to my photo albums and I'm going to go to camera roll and I'm going to pick the picture that I just saved. I'm going to select it. And as you can see right here, it says, you see that it says number one, which means that it is ready to print and so then technically this should be green because it needs to um hold on let me it's finding my printer right now <clears throat> sometimes it takes a little bit to do that here it is okay now you see that the green means that it's ready to go so i'm gonna click that and oopsies no i'm not gonna click that i'm gonna click print at the bottom here and then it's gonna do its thing and the selfie is a funny thing because the paper actually has to run through the machine about three to four times because it's like a layering of color. Um, but it really doesn't take much longer than, it. actually it's less than a minute that the picture prints out. So now you guys can hear a little bit of something going on in the background, which, um, let me take you guys over there to see it, hold on. Okay, so I'm showing you guys how the selfie works. And as you can see, it moves back and forth um, it comes back, it comes out, it goes back in, and what it's doing is it's just layering the different colors onto, there it is. And it took less than, what, 20 seconds to print? So, yeah. Alrighty, so this is the picture that I took here. See that? And it's actually right here. Mind you, this is a crappy picture, but it was just used as, an, as a sample, okay? And this way that I'm doing it by using an app and then um, going and then using the Canon app after that 
is the best way that I have found to print um, using your selfie with not wasting or having too much white space because the selfie uh, packets and it always comes in packets the um, let me show you guys oh good god okay the selfie replacements come in a box like this and this is a pretty huge box there's 108 sheets of paper and then there's three ink cartridges and you cannot buy it in any other form but this okay and this thing I want to say is about 40 bucks or so um, I think it's pretty cost effective because you can actually get a lot of prints considering the cost and I find this at Staples although I will put the link for amazon.com where you can also pur purchase this online as well I've heard that Amazon has them cheaper um, I can't remember one of my um, YouTube friends on here found it on eBay for a whole heck of a lot cheaper too but I just wanted to share hey guys <laughs> so I don't know I was so rudely cut off by my camera anyway I just wanted to share with you guys how I printed my selfie now mind you there are tons of other things that you can do to your photos um, after you print it out cut it up you can round the edges whatever you can do a lot of editing you can add text and I will show you guys how to how I do uh, a lot of things on my photos for project life as well um i have found and i know this sounds like blasphemy <laughs> but uh, i have found that i really like to keep it simple in my project life i do have a lot of embellishments and whatnot but i'm finding that i'm not using them as much as i should or as much as i want to or maybe not even that's not even the word um i have not been feeling the need to use my embellishments so i have tons of embellishments and i might be starting to rack some of them um, just because I like to keep my photos simple so what I will do is I you know I set up my photos the way I just showed you guys and then um, what I will do is I will go back and I'll add text or I might add text to the photo before putting it in pick frame um, so that kind of you know highlights what's going on in that picture and then um, I will put a journaling card right next to that and I will share with you guys my project life and you can see if you like it if not or whatever I tend to like it I like things simple streamlined and whatnot with the exception of my craft room which is a freaking mess <laughs> anyways um, yeah there's tons of things you guys can do and I will show you guys a bunch of other apps on here to make life a little bit easier as far as project life goes or any kind of scrapbooking for that matter it doesn't have to be just project life um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, again this was a video request by Roxy and I'll put her information in the description box below and I have other requests that I have been negligent in getting in getting back to just because I've been so stinking busy um, but you know I will get to your guys questions one by one also with um, for tutorials and whatnot also with the questions that I'm getting for my talking story series so I apologize um, but I will talk to you guys later take care have a great evening bye